What's up, Savages? Hearthstone has recently overtaken my life. I love their ranked playlist. I love just being competitive in a game again. It has the best ranking playlist out of any game that I've played in a long time. And I don't play like StarCraft or League of Legends, so I can't compare it to that, but it is a lot of fun. I've also started streaming it a lot. It's uh, twitch.tv slash GandhiMLG if you guys want to come and hang out in this. I have two clips that I really brought out here. One is my celebration after I won a game, and two is how to become relevant in the YouTube scene. Now, I know it's just my perception of it, but hopefully it helps you guys out. Uh, if you guys like this video and you want to see more content, drop a like, and that is a train that I live with. I hate my life. Whew! We are kicking ass today, boys and girls. We are kicking ass-ish. All right. You want the secret to becoming relevant? Well, I'll let you know now. Everyone's journey is much different than one another's, but if I were you, if I were starting, depends on your niche, right? But regardless of your niche and what you want to do, you got to find something you're good at, okay? Find one thing you're really, really good at and just stick with that for a while. Don't worry about branching out or anything. Like, if you're good at COD, or if you want to do COD content, do COD content. Don't try to branch into other things and just flood your channel. Sure, you can do it occasionally, but at first you gotta build your brand. So let's say I wanted to do COD content. First thing I would do is, and it sucks because I don't even use Reddit. I, mean, I, I should, but I don't. But I would make a video, I would discuss the players, I would take a gameplay and discuss the players, you gotta add your own spice. Like, let's say you have a very good game in Clan vs. Clan and you wanna put it up there and do a commentary, right? I would do that and then I would tag pros in the tweet, right? Let's say you're talking about can EG be beaten, right? It's a very, very hot topic. So, you take that video, put it over gameplay where you just talk into a camera like I do, and you do it well, tag them in it. And the one thing that's gonna happen is by tagging pros and everyone wants to hear about themselves okay everyone wants to listen to what everyone is saying about them because everyone whether they want to admit it or not care about what other people think especially pro gamers they'd love to hear about it so you tag pros in it just so they can maybe watch it then you know you keep doing consistent videos like that maybe one of them likes it then you get more traffic into your channel right so that's one way the other way on top of that so actually no it's combined so you keep that then you take it and you put it on reddit too. try to get some upvotes maybe one of the pros upvoted so then other people watch it that is how I would start to become relevant in a scene now I gotta open up my deck fucking lucky yeah he's playing a tournament I saw yeah. Yeah. No, that's good for him, though, man. It's a great time to be streaming Halo 4. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! Fuck you. Give me that win. <sighs> Love this shit. 